Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Ash and today I'm doing a quick review for the Bounty Huntress on Xbox. Now this was developed by IC Games and published by Rachetalika Games and it was released on the 15th of November 2022 and I was lucky enough to be sent a copy by the publisher for this video review so big thank you to them for that. Now this game is a Metroidvania style game with pixel graphics where you play as Rhea who is a bounty huntress uh, who has been tasked with saving people kidnapped in the city of Vernard. And they've basically been taken into this mysterious sort of abandoned castle, which had been sort of dormant for years after it had all been sort of like sealed. But then a few days prior, all hell break, breaks loose, basically. So Rhea has a variety of special skills that will help her accomplish her task. And obviously she has to sort of, fight a way through a variety of areas rescue the people and bring peace to the city now this obviously is a metroidvania style game large areas that you explore work your way through battling a variety of different monsters throughout all of these sort of hallways and stuff like that and uh, you basically have seven different areas to work your way through now, graphically, it's not too bad. Um, it looks quite nice. It's got decent sort of de like detailed environments. The characters look pretty nice. The animations aren't too bad. Um, it's not the worst game. I didn't enjoy it that much, and I hate saying that. I mean, I'm not the biggest Metroidvania fan, um, but this does feel like uh, like a bargain bin Castlevania. I know it is a cheap game. It's only priced at £4.99, but it is pretty buggy, and I'm not the only person that's seen a lot of bugs. Like I say, if you look on the Xbox review store, like I say, um, there's buggy achievements, which is horrible for achievement hunters like myself, a buggy save system that isn't always working, and on Steam as well, it, it does have a lot of bugs. I mean, hopefully, like I say, a lot of these get patched out, and it's not game breaking for me. Like I said, I didn't find anything that really broke the game to play. But obviously, glitched achievements and stuff like that are a big no no. Now, I know they've probably been informed the devs, so they will get on with this. Rat Like Games are always good as a publisher as well for sort of making sure all the games are patched whenever there's an issue or anything like that. So I don't have any sort of worry that that's going to happen. But. To me, like I say, it plays okay, and there are a nice variety of environments and enemies. It's it's just a bit meh, and I don't want to say that nastily. It's it's just a Castlevania clone with a bad save system, basically. So you have a variety of different skills you can equip, uh, which do a variety of different things. Like I say, you start off with being able to sort of like throw a knife and then you can sort of pick up other skills as you progress through the game. However, these are, they do seem to be randomized because like sometimes uh, I started one level, got one skill, died, restarted it, and then it was a totally different skill the next one basically as well, which is kind of awkward. Now, for those that want a bit more content in the game, there are also side quests that you can partake, obviously, to get more XP, level up, uh, which gives you more sort of health and damage and stuff like that. So it's not bad in that sense. The story's okay. It's just a generic sort of Metroidvania style plot. It's okay. It's it's nothing gonna. It's not gonna sort of like sell millions of copies as like the next great novel, but it does the justice. It's just like I say, it's let down by a few odd bugs and stuff like that. Now the game is available right now. It's playable on Xbox One and Xbox Series X and S. It does support smart delivery, optimized for Xbox Series X and S with 4K resolution and 60 FPS, and it's priced at four pound and ninety nine pence. And like I say. If you're into Metroidvanias, you will probably like this game. It, My only downside, like I say, was I'm not the biggest fan of this genre all told. So it really has to sort of appeal to me um, in the long run. Now, if you can get past any bugs and glitches, like I say, you can get the full 1000 game score within two hours. It's not massively difficult to do that. Like I say, you don't have to finish the full game. It mainly sort of involves... Um, acquiring certain spells, defeating a couple of bosses, um, 
find certain items, level up to a certain amount, free one of the prisoners. It's not super like hardcore. You have to finish every single thing in the game to get the, the full completion, uh, 1,000 either. So, like I say, probably check online, have a look at some of the other reviews, check on like the uh, the videos and stuff, see if this is your cup of tea. But like I say, it's only 4 99 and if you're into Metrovanias, you'll probably get a massive kick out of this. But that's that for this video, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, hit that like button, hit subscribe, leave a message in the comment below, and let me know if there's any other games like this you think I should try that I may enjoy a bit more. But then that, we'll see you soon, guys. Thanks for watching.